Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. I am a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. I studied vocal performance and songwriting at Berklee College of Music, and I am also a moo moo, a baby moo moo, but I'm a moo moo. And uh, Hwasa is my bias. And uh, fun fact the very first video I ever did on this channel was a reaction to a Jesse song. Um, so I'm very excited about the Refund Sisters project, temporary group, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's currently 3.55 in the morning, and uh, it's debuting in about five minutes. So I'm filming my intro. I'm super excited. I'm super nervous. And uh, this video will be up shortly after uh, the debut. I'll leave the link to the original as well. Um, everyone go purchase the song on iTunes. Um, I read that the proceeds go to charity, so that's awesome. Um, they're just doing this for fun at this point and for a good cause. So I'm excited. I hope it's great. I only know Jesse and uh, Hwasa. I don't know the other two members. I'm pretty new to K-pop still. So let me know if I should look into them as well. And uh, let's go. Okay, this is it. I'm listening on Spotify because it's not available yet on iTunes, but as soon as it drops on iTunes, I'm going to purchase it. Um, I have no idea what to expect. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, this is funky. Okay, so Jesse's starting it out. I don't recognize her voice. Where are we going with this chorus? Yes. I love Jessie's rasp on her voice. This is so catchy. Oh, it's so catchy. Tell me who's hot and You're dealing with a full headed monster. Or do you want to suck with the pot? Chapchiana, you don't want no problems. Mom, they don't. Mom, they don't. You got more, they do not. They don't. Make a moon, get me on top of key. You can look and stare, but don't touch me. Wow, this is interesting. I love this. It's definitely got a club beat. Like an EDM club beat. Don't touch me. I know the meaning is deep, and I know that the songwriting was really important. But we can also use it during the pandemic. Don't touch me. Wash your hands. Hey. You just have to dance to this song. I love hearing Jesse sing more. I love it when they have an outro like this.
Yes. That was almost too much. <laughs> there was just so much BDE on the track. Just four queens. It was just overload. Too much. Um, the song was a little bit longer, too, at three minutes and 43 seconds. So it's definitely a little bit longer. Um, I have to. Yeah, this instrumental is interesting too. Nice agility. Nice little run from Jesse. I really like her voice. Of course, that's Fossa on the chorus. <laughs> I was wondering how Jesse was going to fit in with this, but it works. I love Jesse rapping. Her voice is my favorite in this song. Let me know who this is singing. Sorry, I'm new to K-pop. I know she's probably legendary and... I was told that all of the women on this song are super legendary, so I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I'm just not super familiar with older K-pop. Yeah, and this is like grown music. Like, they're saying something meaningful and something substantial. It's not just a mindless dance song like a lot of K pop. Which is why I like Mama Moo, they're all a little bit older. so catchy and I was I don't want to say I was worried I just didn't know what to expect and um they killed it awesome incredible that song's gonna be a super big hit um I hope not too big of a hit because I don't want to lose Hwasa I know Hwasa is not leaving Mamamoo but there's people on Twitter and just there's a lot of people talking right now what this could mean. And I believe they've already said that this is like a temporary group. It's like for a charity, for a TV show. I don't know much about it, but I don't think Hwasa is going anywhere. But together, this subunit or this temporary group, whatever we're calling it, incredible. They could put out a full album and yes, I'm here for it. Um, so short video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It is 4.15, 4.10. 
uh, I'm going to go to bed as soon as this video goes up. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>